Today let us start with a simple story. Imagine there is a water body such as a pool and uh, you have uh, five to six villages surrounding the water body. And in those villages we have two to three dominant communities and in them we have emerging captains like this symbol denotes the elder brother that is the captain known as D and this symbol denotes the younger one known as E. Initially they both emerged into power and they both though D is the bigger one among them they both had equal power equal width as you could see here and this started appearing in the third village and among the community which lied close to the pool and in the third village in the middle community also the same thing appeared. That is two brothers who were equal in power appeared. And in the fifth village also the same thing appeared. After which a villain appeared in the first village. This denotes a villain appearance. This village is known as the sesamoid. And after his appearance the brothers who were equal started to fight. And the younger one started dominating the elder brother which was seen in the the family staying away from the pool in the third village. As you could see here, this symbol is denoting the younger brother dominating the elder brother. This dominance started to get reflected in the next families also, that is in the middle family also. And this started to continue in the fifth village also. After which unity started to spread. The unity started first in the village where the problem started. And after seeing them, the village which stayed quiet for a long time also, also started showing unity. And the village which showed all the previous two stages started showing unity. The elder brother and the younger brother started to get united in the form of they started to merge and they showed unity in the form of this and uh, with this symbol the unity is denoted and after which the village which stayed opposite to the pool also showed unity among the brothers. The purpose of telling you this story is to correlate with the skeletal maturity indicators which we learn in orthodontics. The purpose of this is to correlate the development of bones to the stage at which the orthodontic intervention is needed to be done. Okay, There are few, uh, numerous maturity indicators out of which skeletal maturity indicators are one and in that we are now seeing about Fishman's skeletal maturity indicators and uh, as you could see here the long part of the bone phalanx that is a part of the finger is called the diaphysis and the short part is the epiphysis. They both fuse in between the in middle part is called the metaphysis and they both fuse forming a mature long bone. In the fingers are made of numerous long bones known as the phalanx and uh, we are seeing about in the story the fingers were mentioned as community uh, villages and the phalanxes were mentioned as communities. Phalanges were mentioned as communities and uh, the phalanx are also named as proximal which lies close to the palm that is the water body in the story. The proximal phalanx is the one which lies close to the palm and the distal phalanx is the one which lies away from the palm and the middle phalanx is the middle one. Depending on the development of whether the epiphysis and the diaphysis are same of same width or whether the, the epiphysis started capping the diaphysis, whether the epiphysis and the diaphysis have fused to form a single bone, the skeletal maturity indicators have been numbered. The SMI 1 denotes that is in the story we saw about the emergence of the brothers here that is in the third finger starting from here first finger this is the third this is the second and the third finger in the third finger the proximal phalanx shows equal width of epiphysis and the diaphysis in the first stage in the second stage SMI 2 we have width of equal uh, epiphysis and diaphysis in the middle phalanx of the third finger 
in the third smi we have width of epiphysis and diaphysis being equal in the middle phalanx of the fifth finger i hope you can correlate with the story what we saw before <coughs> appearance of the brothers here and the appearance of the brothers in the middle phalanx and appearance of the brothers in the fifth phalanx they appear equal here that is what smi 1 2 and 3 denotes in smi 4 we have the appearance of the adductor sesamoid which we said as the villain after the appearance of the adductor sesamoid of the thumb we have the capping of epiphysis over the diaphysis which we mentioned in story as the dominance of the younger brother over the elder brother so we have three stages in the capping that is capping of epiphysis is seen in the distal phalanx of the third finger that is the fifth smi after which we have capping of the epiphysis is seen in the middle phalanx of the third finger followed by which we have smi 7 which is capping of e is seen in the middle phalanx of the fifth finger after the capping stage we have the union stage that is the fusion stage where the brothers stop their fight and got together that is stage 8 smi 8 denotes the fusion of epiphysis and diaphysis in the distal phalanx of the third finger followed by which village the first village where this process started smi 9 denotes the fusion of epiphysis and diaphysis in the proximal phalanx of the third finger followed by the middle phalanx fusion of epiphysis and diaphysis in the middle phalanx of the third finger stay smi 10 is over and the 11th and the final smi is fusion of epiphysis and diaphysis seen in the radius which is also a long bone of the wrist now the stages which we saw are belong to fishman in 1982 who gave the fishman's skeletal maturity indicators as i said earlier skeletal age is one of the most reliable age for the assessment of growth for orthodontic purposes the skeletal age is also known as anatomical age or radiological age there are various maturity indicators out of which skeletal maturity indicators is one of the commonly used indicator we have um, numerous indicators given by authors like singer fishman jor grave and brown we saw about fishman's smi in this video and he uses four stages of bone maturation as i earlier said that the epiphysis and diaphysis appear in equal width followed by the adductor sesamoid appearance followed by capping of the epiphysis and the fusion of the epiphysis with the diaphysis these four stages of bone maturation are used to give 11 smis which covers the entire adolescent period and the, and by taking a hand wrist radiography of the patient you could tell at which smi the patient is and depending on which you could plan out the growing phase growing stage of the patient and the subsequent orthodontic treatment now let us use this picture to guess out the 11 stages and let us see how much you remember from the previous stories what we have learned like i'll tell along with you Uh, SMI one starts with the proximal phalanx of the middle finger, that is the third finger. This is SMI one. Am I right? Followed by, can you guess? It is the middle phalanx of the third finger, followed by the middle phalanx of the fifth finger. Where in the all the three stages we have equal width of epiphysis and diaphysis, followed by which the appearance of the villain that is the fourth smi that is adductor sesamoid appears in the thumb of the hand wrist radiograph then you have fifth stage after the appearance of the villain we have dominance of the younger brother over the elder brother that is the fifth stage which appears in the which appears in the distal phalanx of the middle finger after which looking at them this middle fellow also gets spoiled dominance is seen here also then the middle fellow of the Fifth finger also gets spoiled. That is SMI seven. In five, six, and seven, we see capping of the epiphysis over the diaphysis, followed by which there is unity phase. Eight, the unity is seen here, who started the fight. After which, the unity is seen in the proximal phalanx of the middle finger, followed by unity is seen in the middle phalanx of the third finger. And the eleventh SMI is the fusion seen in the radius of the hand wrist radiograph. epiphysis and diaphysis fuses here so these 11 stages with the help of the story hope you will remember and write well in your exams and answer well in your viva see you soon in the next video thank you